Hey everybody, welcome back to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. I've uh, got a lot of requests lately about doing a video on how to go back to stock on your Nexus 6P or your Nexus 6 or whatever Nexus you own. This video is going to cover pretty much all the Nexus devices. Maybe not the Pixels, I'm not too sure about them because my Pixels are all locked down, bootloader locked down, so I can't flash anything on them. So, but again, a lot of you guys asked, how do I go back to stock? What do I do? So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take this and go back to stock. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and fly into this and I'm going to show you how to go back to stock on one of your Nexus devices. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. We are going to go ahead and get on the computer right sure. now because I want to show you. want to go to https semicolon forward slash forward slash developers.google.com. Okay. Uh, and you want to make sure you are on, well, uh, factory images is what I use. So go to factory images. So you want to scroll all the way to the top of the page. You want to make sure you read all this. Okay, guys. Uh, this is going to explain a lot of things about how to do it, to give you links to go to, uh, to flash it if you want. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. It's very simple. Also, make sure you have ADB tools installed on your computer. I'm using Windows 10. Uh, I'm not using Ubuntu or, or Mac, so I'm showing you how to do this on a Windows operating system, and I am using Windows 10. Uh, but just your, just your basic uh, ADB and Fastboot tools. Make sure you have your Google uh, drivers installed and the Nexus devices normally work with every computer without having to do anything but if it doesn't recognize your device you need to install Google drivers so I'm gonna put a link to this thread uh, how to revert back to stock and this is gonna give you links to all of that everything okay uh, I will give you that link. First off, make a backup, guys. You need to back everything up on your phone, uh, all your pictures, your music, uh, your downloaded zips, video uh, video files, everything. You want to back it up. And I already did that. Um, if I think about it, I'll try to show you how to do that as well. It's really simple to do. But again, we're going to go back to the factory images. Make sure you're on. Make sure you're on factory image, and then scroll down until you find your device. Uh, it's going to say like right up here is uh, Crosshatch, which is like, you know, for my Pixel uh, 3XL. Down a little bit more. There, Angler for Nexus 6P. Uh, we're going to scroll down. I want to have the latest version of that installed, and that will be this one right here. Just click on this, and that'll take you to your download link. Um, I'm not going to do it again because it took a while for me to download the first one, but click on this link right here. It's going to download. And once that downloads, you're going to go into your downloads folder. And actually right here, right here's the zip. But you're going to go to your downloads folder, which will be here. You go to downloads. And then this file will be in here. Just click on it, drag it out on your desktop. Or you could do it from in here. But once it's here, you want to, you want to have the contents of this zip onto your ADB folder. Your ADB folder should be, if you installed it correctly, uh, on your C drive. Here's my ADB folder. Nothing's in there right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and extract the contents of this downloaded zip in here. We are going to close that out and I am going to click on this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say 7-zip. We're going to go ahead and extract and we're going to go ahead and extract files. If you click on extract files it's going to ask you where I'm going to click on this little thing right here and I'm going to go look for C and then ADB. Whoops. And I just want it under ADB. I'm going to click OK. So C ADB. Click OK. And it's going to go ahead and extract them folders right where I need them to be extracted. Now I am going to show you guys how to do the flash dash all dot bat command. That's the easiest one to use. That's the one I use. It's the one I recommend. What it does is you're basically telling it to go ahead and flash every single thing you have in that folder onto your device. Okay, so I have all my contents loaded there. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys if I go into 
my file browser and I go to Windows C, open up ADB, now I have, oh, I don't want that folder in there. <laughs> Or a good thing that happened because I wanted you guys to see uh, any kind of mistakes I make. I want you to see them. So, Okay, so I'm going to pull this out of here. Just grab it. Pull it right out here. And what I want to do is I want to open up the contents of that folder. If I can find it again. Right here. I'm going to open that up. And what I'm going to do is open this folder. I'm going to copy all those. I'm going to paste them right inside here. That's going to put everything I need inside my ADB folder where I need them. I should have just extracted it to my desktop and did it this way. So sorry if I confused you guys. Okay, now I have all my files in that folder. That is the only folder I want showing now. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now we're going to go ahead and go over to the device. Alright, well we, the, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your USB debugging turned on. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to system and you want to look for developer options and they're not there so we're going to go to about phone and we're going to scroll down to the build number and tap it seven or eight times until it says you are now a developer. When you get that we're going to go ahead and go back click on developer options and you want to scroll down until you see whoops I went too far right there USB debugging we want to go ahead and turn that on and yes, we want to click OK. So that's all you need to do there. We are good. Let's go ahead and go home. Now the next thing we want to do is you want to take a USB type C and you want to plug it into the bottom. You want to go ahead and plug that into the bottom of your device. You're going to hear ding on your computer. And you're going to get this pop up. It's going to say, uh, you know, you want to allow file transfers and stuff from this computer. You want to click always allow and then OK. OK, uh, we want to go ahead and move back to the computer now and we are on it. Uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to hold the shift key down and right click inside of this window here to open up the PowerShell here. Now we want to make sure that the device drivers and everything are working. So you want to type in ADB space and then devices then click enter ah okay A D B devices and click enter now uh, you notice it has a number here and it says device that means we're ready to go if you had a number here and it said unauthorized or something like that that means it's not connected um, you need to either reboot your phone, you know, and reconnect it or something. Or uh, you may want to check your drivers because your drivers aren't working correctly. But you want to see this number and or whatever number your phone gives because it'll be different for every phone. Uh, and then you want to see device. So it's reading it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to be in bootloader mode or fast boot mode. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the phone using uh, the command prompt. We're going to type in... ADB reboot bootloader hit enter and as you guys can see on the phone it is rebooting and it's going to reboot into bootloader mode or fast boot now we're going to go ahead and jump back over here onto the computer again. So I'm going to do the same thing I did in ADB to make sure that it is detecting my device. I'm going to type in fast boot devices. Whoops, don't want to like that. I'm not a, I didn't take typing in school guys, I took Botech. Uh, fast boot devices and I'm going to hit enter. And notice it came up with a number again and it said fast boot. So, it's connected to my device. Uh, if it would say unauthorized or some, any other thing, it's not connected. You need to recheck. Make sure USB debugging's, you know, checked on your phone. Make sure your device drivers are installed on your computer correctly. Uh, that's about all I can tell you. Again, guys, I'm going to put links in the description uh, for all of that stuff. You know, all the downloads that you need, drivers, uh, your your firmware, all that stuff. So now it's very simple from here. Um, one thing I want to get out of the way before you do this, 
By going back to stock, it is going to completely wipe your device. The reason I'm telling you this, guys, is you need to back up your system. Back it up. Um, now, the what's really nice about this, this has a flash hall bat command in it, which just makes this so nice. You can either use that or you can flash each one of these separately. We're not going to do that. We're going to use that flash all bat command. So all you guys have to do from here is type in flash-all.bat. That's it. Hit enter. And it is now installing uh, the firmware that we downloaded. Um, you could go and install, you know, the radio separately. You could install the bootloader separately, you know, and then install the firmware and all that. But if you do flash dash all dot bat, it's just so much nicer. It does everything for you. That's exactly the way Google wants you to do it. Now, if you were running a Linux or a um, Mac uh, device, you'd want to do flash dash all dot sh uh, as opposed to the uh, bat, but we are running Windows, so that's how we're doing it. Uh, it's going to take some time to do this, guys. Do not unplug your phone. Don't power your phone off. Don't shut your computer off. If you guys stop the process now, you're going to break your device. So let it go until it's done. Okay guys, it is done. The device is rebooting. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it from the computer now and just let it boot up. That's it. Okay guys, that is it. And all you have to do now is wait for the device to boot up. The first boot may take some time. I actually ran out of battery uh, right in the middle of the reboot. So I rebooted the phone so you guys could see the, um, the boot animation. Now the first boot may take a minute, it may take up to 10 minutes, it could take 30 minutes. Don't touch your device until it is completely booted up. I would also let your device sit for 15 or 20 minutes before you go through the setup. But that's it guys, that is how you go back to stock on your Nexus 6P or any of the other Nexus devices for that matter. And if this video helped you out in any way, uh, please hit that subscribe button and also that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. And next to that subscribe button, there's a little bell icon. Uh, go ahead and ring that or, or click on it. That way you get a notification of any of my videos as soon as I release them. That way you won't miss a thing. That's all I have and I'll see you guys on the next video.